I have another question, and again, it may be to Mr. Lesner. Uh, in the packets, and actually on sheet two, uh, there's a letter for, dated 2005 from the Department of Natural Resources that says, and I'm not gonna read the whole thing, it says the department's wildlife heritage services has no records for federal or state rare, threatened, or endangered plants or animals within the general area of the subject property. It continues to say, this statement should not be interpreted as meaning that no rare, threatened, or endangered species are present. If appropriate habitat is available, certain species would be present without documentation because adequate surveys have not been conducted. So my question is, have adequate sur uh, surveys been conducted in the last 20, 10 years since this letter was written? That letter is a blanket format from the Department of Natural Resources to state that they currently don't have documented records of species, but it does not imply a requirement to a project to conduct assessments. There is an inherent requirement that if the applicant were to begin construction and encounter a certain species, that they would have to basically stop work and coordinate with those, the Department of Natural Resources to protect the habitat. But that letter does not imply uh, any further requirement on behalf of the Department of Natural Resources. So when we require an environmental review under forest conservation law, the letter from the Department of Natural Resources that says we have no records is basically saying at this time we have no record and we have no requirement. If, and I know it's too late for this project because the road's already cut and the FIDS habitat's gone. But if you, if you look at, I mean, the DNR's website, the Merlin Online, which mm -hmm. has all the different layers. If you look at that, you'll see that this is a green infrastructure hub on the green infrastructure. It's a DNR folk, a targeted ecological area. Uh, it's uh, a FIDS habitat, and it's within a thousand feet, if I'm doing a little measuring thing right, within a sensitive species project review area. So I guess my question is, is there any way that the, that, uh, the county can trigger a request to do, to do a survey. I mean, if you don't look for it, you're not gonna find it. And is that something we should consider? Under the current codes that we have, I'm not aware of any ability that we have to compel a survey. Okay. With that type of comment from the Department of Natural Resources. Is that something we could do? <coughs> Well, what about the forest conservation? Do they, do they do inventory work with the forest conservation plans or is it just for the trees? Well, the forest conservation plan was the trigger to require the Department of Natural Resources re review. That's a part of their components of, of requirement to prepare the plan, the environmental review. Um, and so that is, is incorporated into how we, how we meaning the county and both the applicant are looking at the forest areas on site and determining, determining where the preservation should occur. Beyond that, there's no additional assessment requirement for habitat to, to, to be compelled or to, to be required of the applicant. Okay. We look at the priority areas, we look at the stream areas, but if the Department of Natural Resources sends a letter of that nature, it says when we didn't look and if you, nobody looks, we're not gonna find it. We have no way of compelling further <coughs> searching at this time. Okay. That's the questions I have. 